Hey guys, it's Noah. Before I get into today's video, I want to say Happy New Year to all of you. Last year has been so unexpected with the amount of views that I have received for some of my videos. I am also very grateful to all of you for your continued support. I have also noticed that some new Noahverse members have joined my journey. Welcome to the Noahverse and I hope that my videos are enjoyable and entertaining for all of you. Let's get into today's video. So to start off, I'm going to be unboxing this guest varsity jacket. Ever since I have laid eyes on these varsity jackets i have been so obsessed with them i don't know why i just like the way they look and it really does fit my style i already know what this product looks like because i have got it for christmas so shout out to my aunt and uncle and my cousins which you guys have seen on a previous video for getting me this for my christmas gift now the one that they did get me, um, the sleeves were a little too short because I have long arms, so it didn't quite fit right. So I do have here the extra large jacket, which I am going to show you guys. Once I can pull this thing to open. So we actually have a note here from the co-founder and chief creative officer from Guests which is quite insane. It's like, thank you for your purchase. We truly value each and every one of our customers. You are the reason we do what we do. Enjoy your purchase and let us know how we can better serve you. So nice little note. I didn't get that on my other one. So thank you. Uh, this is just packing flips on my returns. So great. So in case you guys don't know, Guess is like a cheaper version of a Louis Vuitton or Guess. So if you can't really afford the high luxury brands, Guess does take second place into that because Guess does have really good quality clothes for less price and they're really good. So if you are ever wondering. Now this jacket that I got isn't from Guess.ca. It's kind of from the Guess like outlet, but it's still legit Guess. So I will have the link down below for that in case you guys want to check out this jacket. So here it is, you guys. I am so excited. Like it's got leather sleeves and this jacket is very much heavy. Um, so here is what it looks like. Here is, you guys can see that, the back. So in case you guys can see, I'm not sure, but it has like the zipper, so it has like buttons and then the zipper part to like open the full jacket. We have like, of course, yes, stickers everywhere. So we are just going to open this up. And I'm gonna try this on later to see how it fits. So this also has like, oh, it has more like, Oh my God, wait, can this actually be taken out? You can, oh my God. You can actually take out the inside and just wear the in, the insert jacket. Okay, okay guys, I see. So you can actually take out this black part and literally just wear the jacket itself, which is crazy and cool at the same time. I didn't notice that before. So now it's just about zipping it back up here. That's crazy, I didn't know. I can actually take out, you can actually take out this black inner part. And, all right, so this is the inside, it's really cool. So I am gonna try this on uh, after. I just, I didn't actually know that this black part can come out, which is a really cool idea for the jacket. Next, we are moving on to Sephora's little haul here. I have never bought myself any skincare like haul. Like I've never done a skincare haul before, so this is my first time. See, knife, you guys. Yeah, I do have it. We are welcome with great packaging. So the first one that I have is, I bought this serum, it's from The Ordinary. It's the Aloe 2% and Neg 2% solution. So this is good for post acne marks and it also improves the skin texture as well as supporting the barrier for your skin. It has a strong barrier for the skin. So it's kind of like a three in one serum, which is really cool. And you guys should check it out. Next is the Sicilic Acid 
anhydrous solution. So this one is not water-based, but this one does help to decongest the skin and exfoliate the skin surface, which is also good for the face. Um, and as you guys know, I have used Cetaphil products and will always continue to use them. A little backstory regarding my skincare journey, I guess. So starting from like, I don't know, maybe grade four to grade eight, I was using a product called Spectral Gel. And then from grade eight, and then from grade nine, my mom found uh, Cetaphil. So I never really struggled with acne like most kids my age did. I didn't experience acne, but ever since I did start shaving, I did start getting, my face did start to get irritated a lot and pimples would start to form and all of that. Not really, like not much, but they did start to show on my face. So I never really, so yeah, I just never really struggled with that. So hopefully these two products will kind of help my face for after shaving. Next is this Clinique Men's Facial Scrub thing. So this is the Men's Facial Scrub for pre-shaving. So this helps to exfoliate the skin, but it also helps to make sure that you don't get any like nicks and stuff from uh, from shaving and it gives you a closer shave. So really good. Let's see if I can see if it smells like anything. Oh, there's plastic on it. Locked by something in here because I can't see. Okay, so it's locked by something like inside. I can't tell what it is, but if you are a guy and you are looking for something to add to your shaving routine, this is definitely going to help. Next is this Armani perfume. Uh, it's from Armani Beauty, it's called Aqua Di Gio. So a little backstory to this little guy. Um, I went to Sephora for Christmas shopping to get my brother's cologne and of course I couldn't help myself but to shop for me also. And when I smelled this cologne, it smelled really, really good. It's like aquatic-y but light but strong at the same time. Like it has a strong scent but it's light. So it's kind of a mixture of both and it really does smell great. Now for those of you that are like, thank God he didn't get the Dior Sauvage. Sauvage, I'm sorry to say, is the most basic scenting cologne I've smelled in my life. And I was like, why be basic when you can be different and stand out? Because following the crowd isn't always necessarily the best thing for you to do. So I stepped out of that Sauvage bandwagon ever since Johnny Depp and even before that. Like they marketed Sauvage out of, like they marketed Sauvage like too much. It was everywhere, it was on Hudson's Bay, LED panels, it was on billboards. It was like enough is enough already. So I was like, I'm gonna try something new and I got Aqua Di Gio. Coincidentally enough, Bath & Body Works just posted a advertisement for their men's cologne collection with Bosa, he's like an NFL player, not exactly sure for which team. So I feel like they're kind of doing the same thing. And in this case, I'm assuming Bath & Body Works isn't getting enough sales. So they needed someone at least well known to do this advertisement and this campaign with so that it kind of boosts up the sales to their men's cologne collection. I do own Bath & Body Works cologne. However, they don't last that long like you have to continuously spray on your skin just to get the scent so just a little fyi there so let's open this up let's see what this smells like again it's been a long time coming as you guys can see i'm like struggling but it's fine Okay, so it is packaged with paper, so it's not plastic, like, outside plastic. This isn't plastic. It's actually a nice, soft, papery type material that they use for the packaging. And uh, something that I should also add, you cannot find this cologne anywhere. Like, the only place you can find it is Sephora. Armani Beauty literally sold out of this cologne, and they only have the other one. Oh, so we got packaging within the packaging. So we have a black packaging now here, which kind of... Oh, it folds really nicely. And here is the cologne. It's a really nice, sleek background to 
to the cologne. Like it's a really nice cologne bottle. Oh, it smells actually really good. Let's like spray, where's the sprayer? Oh, it's right here. So I do it here so that. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. It smells like lemon and awkwardness and it just smells really fresh and light and it smells so good i cannot wait to wear this for my cousin's birthday next week it's gonna be a little oh yeah it smells really good i love the smell of this cologne so if you guys are interested aqua di Gio by uh giorgio armani go check it out this cologne does smell pretty good i do feel like it just went in my mouth Anyways. So that is the unboxing, my Sephora haul and my guest unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you guys like and subscribe as well as hit that bell notification so you get a notification every time I post a brand new video. Also, please make sure that you are following all of my socials. My socials are linked in the link tree link, which is linked in the description down below. Continue to spread positivity and I will see you all in the next one.